Malaysia uh, after the 308 general uh, election uh, some of my friends uh, they went around you see uh, to survey and to get feedback uh, from the people and that's why this group of my friends are thinking uh, maybe we should have another party whereby uh, the riot they will have an option you know, you know to choose you see if not you look at the trends now either BN or Pakatan you see you don't have any choices you see that's why uh, BCM uh, was formed the most important thing is unity you see we want to see a united country you know why we use the name Pati Cinta Malaysia you see? Because we want everyone to love the country. It's very simple. You see, and we don't want everything to be politicized. As long as anyone subscribe to the ideology that they love the country, we welcome them to join Party Cinta Malaysia. You see, we don't care whether previously they are from PKR, they are from DAP, either they are from AMNO, Gerakan, or MCA. As long as you love the country, the foremost, the most important thing is love the country, Cinta Malaysia then you can join us. So far, we have more than 6,000 already. Mm -hmm. And many more are coming in. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, as, as I've said before, uh, PCM have nothing to do with him. We, we have our uh, representative there. There is the YB uh, Gabriel. Uh, he's also an assembly man. And uh, now he's working out gauge our, our strength in, uh, in Sarawak. You see, of course, uh, for any political party, uh, I think the most important agenda is to go for contest. You see, if not, no point in form a political party. Of course, we will go, but of course, we also have to look at our resources. You see, it's not easy, you know. If you contact in one seat, you, know, you also have to spend some uh, uh, some uh, some funds there. I can see BN are making changes now. You see, if not, they won't open the. Uh, direct membership, you see, to NGOs, associations, you see, and some other uh, independent party. I can say it's a good sign under the leadership of uh, Datuk Sri uh, Najib. I <coughs> may be the vice president of the party, but I'm not a spokesman for the party. You see, in PCM, we allow everyone can speak, no problem. Uh, there's no filter. You see, we allow. You see, that's why a lot of young people, they like our party, they want to come in, they join our party, you see. You can speak what you want to speak. Now, of course, our plan is to set up uh, more uh, division, uh, not only in Penang, but in other states also. And we are going to set up our care center, where people can come, uh, they channel their forum or their grievances to us, then we forward it to the uh, respective uh, government agencies or ministry uh, to help them. In uh, this in political uh, this uh, scenario uh, in uh, our country, uh, I can say our raya they are very smart. You see, even though you have a two party system, or you have another party coming in, or whatever, they know how to work. You see, they are very smart. You see, sometimes they work for the party. They don't care who are you. They don't care who is the candidate. You see, even though you put the chair there also, uh, you win. You see, and sometimes they look at the candidate. They don't, uh, they don't care which party you belong to, you see. As long as they feel that this candidate uh, uh, can work, can serve the people, uh, and don't have any problem, you see, then they work for the candidate. After uh, two years uh, of uh, running the uh, state government, uh, first for example in Penang, There's nothing, uh, nothing much, and I can say there's no improvement. You see? There's no improvement at all in Penang. You see? Investment, I don't see any big investment coming in. To me, it's uh, unnecessary uh, to me. You see, because even though if you revive the local council election, I think from uh, uh, NGOs or either from BN, they won't go and contest. I can say, so. You see, it's a waste of time. You see, as long as now you have your counselors, uh, belong to your party, you see, 
you go down and serve the people, you work hard, make things improve, you know, then, then we will be fine. Then we will make way for, for both parties to condemn each other again. We already have a state election, then we have general election, and now we want to have council election. Then later on, maybe they say, uh, our very district also, we have a JKK election, or whatever election. Then every day is politics, non-stop, you know, non-stop. Mm -hmm. You see, now the best thing is, since you are in control of the board for the council, you do your best for your people. In fact, I'm very happy now already. I've already achieved uh, what I want. I'm very happy. In the Air Force days, I served 13 years in the Air Force. I'm the only son in my family with one daughter, uh, one sister, you know. In the olden days, the Chinese say they never let the son join the army or the police, you see. Uh, well, of course, I'm different, you see. Maybe I watched the combat movie too much, uh, so I love the forces, you see. That's why I joined immediately after I'm, uh, I completed my Form 5. I joined the Air Force for 13 years. Uh, after 13 years, I left with the rank of Lance Corporal. Only. You know, Lance Corporal. Satu Charit. Yeah. My last pay is $675. You see, but I feel very happy. You see, I have done things that, that uh, many ordinary uh, people, they don't have the opportunity to do. I don't ask for anything much already. You know, I've been an MP, you know, who expect just a low, uh, a low, low rank, uh, army, uh, Air Force, uh, uh, personnel can uh, rose to become a uh, member of parliament. Mm -hmm. When I was small, you see, uh, I like to read, read newspaper a lot, you see, uh, and uh, of course, from there, uh, I get feedback, you know, feedback, all that, and and then also uh, after that, I went into uh, joining the Malaysian Air Force uh, for 13 years, and when I left Air Force, I was uh, uh, appointed as the special assistant to then the deputy chief minister of Penang, Dato uh, Sri Dr Ibrahim Sah. You see, it's so cool, isn't it? You see, then from there I was involved in uh, politics. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never expect that. You see, it's totally 360 degree change, you know. You know. In the Air Force, I'm a technical man. I thought, oh, maybe with my experience in the forces for 13 years, uh, and have attained uh, various courses uh, conducted by the Air Force, uh, maybe I just come out and work in any other factory. If I can get one or two thousand, I'd be very happy. Really. I even prepared for myself, I want to get a bus license and lorry driver license also. When I was in the forces, I have my license. You see, worst to worst, I thought of maybe I go and become a bus driver or lorry driver. I even have my taxi license. Yeah. You see, so I never expect suddenly overnight become a politician. Of course, I would like to thank the uh, forces, uh, Air Force, and also the government. If without them, uh, without the training, and the discipline uh, which I uh, learned from the forces, uh, I'm here today.